Welcome to Steve's Tech Stuff. Today we're doing a quick demo on Casa OS. Casa OS is a personal cloud OS designed for home servers and network storage devices. Casa OS functions more as a software platform or a dashboard that operates on top of an existing operating system. It offers a user-friendly interface and a suite of applications and services for managing and controlling various aspects of your home server, such as media streaming, file sharing, backups, automation, and more. Casa OS leverages Docker underneath the hood. And in today's video, we'll guide you through installation of Casa OS and explore how to use it and install additional applications and services on your home server. So let's get to it. First, let's SSH into our test server and let's ensure everything is up to date. Now that everything is up to date, let's visit casaos.io. And the folks over at Casa OS has made it very easy to install. We just need to copy this curl command here at the bottom. And then we'll move back over to our terminal window and just paste it in. Once the script has finished, it tells us to visit the above address to get to Casa OS. Just take note here to uninstall Casa OS. It is just Casa OS dash uninstall. So let's go ahead and grab this address here and go to it in our browser. Going to this address brings us to the Casa OS web GUI. Go ahead and click on go and we'll create an account. And once we're logged in, you can accept or cancel the news feed pop up. And now we're at the dashboard. We have a few widgets here for time, system status, performance. If you're running any previous containers, you'll see them running here at the bottom as a legacy app. In the top left hand corner here, we have the user account where you can update your profile picture and password. Next are the settings. Most notable here is the web UI. You can adjust the port if you don't want it running on the 80. Next is terminal and logs. The terminal prompt wants the username and password to SSH to the server. This is not the Casa OS credentials, but what you would normally use to SSH like we did at the very beginning of the video with Putty. Before we can use the legacy app, we must import them into Casa OS. This is really just gonna make a link to the existing container using the information we provide. I'm gonna click on it to import it. And now that I've imported it, once I click on it, it should take us over to it. And there's Portainer. If you really want your legacy apps integrated into Casa OS, you have to rebuild them. So we can go to the dots here at the top and rebuild. And we can see that it's rebuilt. And if we click on it here to open it up, it's gonna take us to the IP address, but we can see here at the top in the address bar, it's not specifying any type of port. So let's go back to the dashboard here and take a look at the settings. Looks like the web UI is missing a actual UI. I don't know that that would have affected it. The ports are mapped. Uh, let's add the address to it and save it. It's going to rebuild the app. Let's try it again. So once we filled in the web UI information, it seems to have resolved the uh, link to the container. And once you've rebuilt the app, you can go ahead and uninstall your legacy app. And then this is whether up to you whether you want to keep your old user data or not. All right, so that's moving over uh, any old containers into Casa OS. How about uh, new containers? So for new containers, Casa OS went with the familiarity of an app store like you see on your mobile device. We've got the app store here. And if you click on it, it brings you to a list of just containers or apps that you can install on the server. For testing purposes here, we're gonna install Open Speed Test. And it is as simple as clicking on the install button here. Afterwards, we're back here at the desktop or the dashboard, and we have an icon for open speed test. Click it on it here, we'll take us to it. And it looks like it's up and working. Let's go ahead and start. 
All right, we can see that that container is up and running. So let's go ahead and head back over to the Casa OS dashboard. If the app or container you're looking for is not in the app store, you can always install a custom app by clicking on this plus button here and then choosing install a customized app. This brings up a window similar to Portainer where you can specify the parameters of the container you're installing. If you have the Docker run or the Docker compose file config, you can import it at the top right. Let's use uh, Heimdall as an example. Go ahead and head over to Docker Hub here. Let's search for Heimdall. And let's grab the Docker run and head back over to Casa OS. With the Docker run, we can use the CLI to compose link here at the bottom. This is just gonna take us over to Composerize where if you paste in the Docker run in the field here, it will format a Docker compose file for you. You can just copy this, head back over to Casa OS and paste it in. And I just need to adjust these ports real quick. And then we go ahead and click Submit. And it gives us a prompt here saying that there, it cannot pull over some of the information once we import the container. So we can go ahead and click OK to configure our application on the next screen. And it looks like we are missing the web UI and the port. And it also did not pull in the volume. And now that we've filled in all the information, we'll go ahead and click on install here at the bottom. After the installation window, back at the dashboard, just like open speed test, we have a new icon here for Heimdall. Clicking on it should take us over to it. And here we are. Back over to the Casa OS dashboard, and that is about it for Casa OS. If you have any problems or running any issues with Casa OS, you can always join their Discord at the bottom. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching.